Welcome to morning prayer for Wednesday in the week of prayer for reconciliation. My name is Andrew Eaton. I'm here at St Luke's Hall's End and chaplain to the University of Newcastle. And I'm praying on a Wabakal land and with the St Luke's community and the cathedral community. Pay my respects to elders past and present and emerging. And we commit ourselves to the journey of reconciliation. Our psalm this morning is 69, verses 1 to 16. And our service begins on page 401 of the prayer book. Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. In everything give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus. Glory to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Blessed are you, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, for you have blessed us in Christ Jesus with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. You chose us to be yours in Christ before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before you, in love you destined us to be your children, through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of your will, to the praise of your glorious grace, which you freely bestowed on us in the Beloved. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 69, verses 1 to 16. Save me, O God, for the waters have come up even to my throat. I sink in the deep mire where no footing is. I have come into deep waters and the flood sweeps over me. I am weary with crying out, my throat is parched. My eyes fail with watching so long for my God. Those that hate me without cause are more in number than the hairs of my head. Those that would destroy me are many. They oppose me wrongfully, for I must restore things that I never took. O oh God, you know my foolishness and my sins are not hidden from you. Let not those who wait for you be shamed because of me, O Lord God of hosts. Let not those who seek you be disgraced on my account, O God of Israel. For your sake have I suffered reproach, and shame has covered my face. I have become a stranger to my family, an alien to my own mother's children. Zeal for your house has eaten me up, and the taunts of those who taunt you have fallen on me. I afflicted myself with fasting, and that was turned to my reproach. I made sackcloth my clothing, and I became a byword to them. Those who sit in the gate talk of me, and the drunkards make songs about me. But to you, Lord, I make my prayer at an acceptable time. Answer me, O God, in your abundant goodness and with your sure deliverance. Bring me out of the mire so that I may not sink. Let me be delivered from my enemies and from the deep waters. Let not the flood overwhelm me or the depths swallow me up. Let not the pit shut its mouth upon me. We consecrate this day to your service, O Lord. May all our thoughts, words and actions be well-pleasing to you and serve the good of our brothers and sisters. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Reading from the second letter of St Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 1, beginning at the first verse. Paul an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, and Timothy our brother, to the church of God that is in Corinth, 
include, including all the saints throughout Achaia. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all consolation, who consoles us in all our affliction, so that we may be able to console those who are in any affliction with the consolation with which we ourselves are consoled by God. For just as the sufferings of Christ are abundant for us, so also our consolation is abundant through Christ. If we are being afflicted, it is for your consolation and salvation. If we are being consoled, it is for your consolation, which you experience when you patiently endure the same sufferings that we are also suffering. Our hope, hope for you is unshaken, for we know that as you share in our sufferings, so also you share in our consolation. We do not want you to be unaware, brothers and sisters, of the affliction we experienced in Asia, for we were so utterly unbearably crushed that we despaired of life itself. Indeed, we felt that we have re had received the sentence of death, so that we would rely not on ourselves, but on God who raises the dead. He who rescued us from so deadly a peril will continue to rescue us. On him we have set our hope that he will rescue us again. As you also join in helping us by your prayers, so that many will give thanks on our behalf for the blessing granted us through the prayers of many. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. We praise you, O God, we acclaim you as Lord. All creation worships you, the Father everlasting. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, the cherubim and seraphim sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. <coughs> the noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the holy church acclaims you. Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son worthy of all praise, the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you took our flesh to set us free, you humbly chose the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come to be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Grant, O Lord, that the course of this world may be so peaceably ordered by your governance, that your church may joyfully serve you in all godly quietness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. As we enter into more deeply into this week of prayer for reconciliation. We pray for the First Peoples of the Diocese, especially the Iwabakul, Birupai, Dakanjung, Giwagal, Kamilaroi, Waramai and Wanarua peoples, and the Collect for Reconciliation. Lord God, bring us together as one, reconciled with you and reconciled with each other. You made us in your likeness, 
you gave us your son Jesus Christ. He has forgiven us, he has given us forgiveness from sin. Lord God, bring us together as one, different in culture but given new life in Jesus Christ, together as your body, your church, your people. Lord God, bring us together as one, reconciled, healed, forgiven, sharing you with others as you have called us to do. In Jesus Christ, let us be together as one. Amen. All praise to you, Father everlasting. You open your hand and fill all creatures with blessing. Listen to our prayers as we say, Lord, make haste to help us. We pray for an end of hatred and distrust among Christians and for the renewal of our service in the church. For Peter, our bishop, Sonia and Charlie, our assistant bishops, for Synod and Diocesan Council, the Anglican Consultative Council, the Mission to Seafarers, the Samaritans Foundation, and the Society of St Francis at Stroud. Lord, make haste to help us. For the enrichment of our sacred reading and private prayer. Lord, make haste to help us. For the healing of broken relationships, for the rule of justice and peace. Praying especially this week for all children, innocent children affected by the bombs of war, that they may know only peace, that the wars of men may cease. Lord, make haste to help us. We pray for the relief of hunger and disease and for the agencies which seek to bring about that end. Lord, make haste to help us. We pray for all the intentions of our hearts and for those for whom we have promised to pray. Lord, make haste to help us. Eternal God and Father, by whose power we are created and by whose love we are redeemed, guide and strengthen us by your Spirit that we may give ourselves to your service and live this day in love to one another and to you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of steadfastness and encouragement grant us to live in such harmony with one another in accord with Christ Jesus, that we may, with one voice, Glorify our God and Father. Amen. Amen.